I am a well in this great land, looking at its millions of boys and girls to draw from me the inexhaustible divinity and spread his grace everywhere as does the water drawn from a well. This is my story. The story of the son of Jainul Abdin and Ashama. The story of a lad who sold newspapers to help his brother. The story of a pupil reared by Shiva Subramanya Ayyar and Ayyadore Solomon. The story of a student taught by teachers like Pandale. The story of an engineer spotted by MJK Menon and groomed by the legendary Professor Sarabhai. The story of a scientist tested by failures and setbacks. The story of a leader supported by a large team of brilliant and dedicated professionals. This story will end with me, for I have no belongings in the worldly sense. I have acquired nothing, built nothing, possessed nothing, no family, sons, daughters. I do not wish to set myself up as an example to others, but I believe that a few readers may draw inspiration and come to experience that ultimate satisfaction which can only be found in the life of the spirit. God's providence is your inheritance. The bloodline of my great-grandfather Aul, my grandfather Pakir, and my father Jainul Abdin may end with Abdul Kalam. But God's grace will never cease, for it is eternal. problem Indian youth faced, I felt, was a lack of clarity of vision, a lack of direction. It was then that I decided to write about the circumstances and people who made me what I am today. The idea was not merely to pay tribute to some individuals or highlight certain aspects of my life. What I wanted to say was that no one, however poor, underprivileged or small, need feel disheartened about life. Problems are a part of life. Suffering is the essence of success. As someone said, God has not promised skies always blue, flower strewn pathways all our life through. God has not promised sun without rain, joy without sorrow, peace without pain. I will not be presumptuous enough to say that my life can be a role model for anybody. But some poor child living in an obscure place, in an underprivileged social setting, may find a little solace in the way my destiny has been shaped. It could perhaps help such children liberate themselves from the bondage of their illusory backwardness and hopelessness. Irrespective of where they are right now, they should be aware that God is with them. And when He is with them, who can be against them? Let the latent fire in the heart of every Indian acquire wings and the glory of this great country light up the sky. <laughs>